What's up, hope you guys are doing awesome. So today we're going to talk about Angelic, which is a NFT game that has a lot of potential. So let's get into it. The latest news of Angelic receiving $10 million in investments was very big and caught my eye as the average investment is around like three to four million to start up an NFT game, but they received a whole 10 million, which they are backed by big players such as Pantera, Animaka Brands, Solana Ventures, others like Morningstar, Hubai Ventures, Skate.io, just a bunch of really good ones, including guilds too, like Good Games Guild, Ancient 8. So they're going to have a lot of publicity and a lot of popularity, I'm assuming. So if we enter their website. It's a very futuristic, apocalyptic sci-fi RPG game. I'm assuming the left is like the good side, right? Probably the humans. Then middle is like the robots, right side are probably like evil people. We got Skull Guy, looks pretty cool, full design. And they have like the standard NFT page. They got some drawings and some very high definition images, very cool. Then they got their little lore introduction trailer, which you can watch more on their website. And then they explain more about the game later on. You can include their email newsletter. So let's check out their team. Their team is very experienced. They have participated in making games such as League of Legends, Far Cry, Halo 3, Venom. So they're just very stacked. Then you can read about them. They're all transparent on the news, like on the Indeed website. So you can check out their YouTube channel. They've been posting for a while since like a year or two ago. I've checked out their Twitter. They've been posting for like one and a half years on just the game itself. So they're not just some random company that popped up to write the NFT wave. They've been around here. They've been building for a long time. So we'll check out their other page. So in their medium, which is, they called it Metaverse Game Studios, which is their studio that developed Angelic. They talk about other things such as their tokens. They have like a similar token system to Axe Infinity, but there's a main governance one. And then there's another one that has infinite supply, I think, where it will be the game reward system and then in this they talk about how they're really emphasizing customization which is really cool like creating your own characters and then maybe even selling content to other people who like your character designs so there that's a very big plus then another thing we can check out the white paper it is very comprehensive so as mentioned before they've been posting about just the game itself for one and a half years which is crazy so they've been around for a long time 60 pages discussing everything about angelic so i recommend checking that out if you're a very analytical and very big person to those kind of things so next off we dive into their roadmap so they have are on schedule right now where they're going to release a demo soon so i'm very excited to try that and then Oh, just kidding. Wrong one. So we are on Q2. So they just announced their founders and their investors. And oh, just kidding. So I guess there is a playable demo, which will be launching. So I'm very excited for that. And then another demo launch in Q4 too. So that'd be very exciting. So I'm assuming maybe there'll be another demo launch in Q3. And then there'll be another DAO. So there's just so many things that we're very excited for. So it seems that in 2023 Q2 of next year, that'll be the main time they're going to launch the full game, which will be estimated around that time. So it'll be almost like a year or two, one and a half years before the full game release. However, this could be a really good opportunity to get into a potential huge banger. It'll be like getting into Alluvium or Star Atlas super early and maybe making some insane gains off of it. So as you can see, they're very well put together. Looks like they have a lot of potential. However, let's get into their cons, right? So uh, this situation kind of reminds me very similarly to the Sidus Hero situation, right? Where they're very well put together. They're really good on paper. Their white paper is like 60 pages, similarly to like Sidus Heroes. However, I believe simplicity is key, right? So maybe there could be like a lot of 
fluff in the white paper and maybe the HD images, the trailers, they look amazing, similar to what Science Heroes is. But then when you actually try to demo, it like sucks balls or something. So I think we just have to wait and be very patient about this. Let's treat this as another project with high potential. However, just because they have high potential, that doesn't mean they're going to execute properly, right? So let's treat it as such. Let's not go all in on this. Let's be patient, see how it turns out, because they do have at least a year and to a year and a half or maybe even more before they actually release the real version. So let's be patient, see how it goes. And also secondly, I think they need help with community building. So they're starting to develop a community. However, I don't really see that really hardcore, passionate fan base just yet. So I think once they do a bunch of other community building events, like a live streaming and then maybe playing games with its members, maybe having some lore building events around the different characters. And I think if they keep doing what they're doing, like they have their recent fan art contest for whitelisting, then I think they're doing applications for mods. So I think they're starting to build that core passionate fan base. So this con could be a good opportunity for you. You can turn that to positive, right? Where you're like, okay, there's no strong passionate core base right now, but maybe you could jump in and then kickstart it. However, at, at the same time, it is still high risk where maybe the game doesn't take off and then you put in a lot of effort into building this community, but then it just duds. So in summary, I think their team is very awesome. I think this game has a lot of high potential, but at the same time, just know the risk. It's, it's still very early in this game and we don't know how they're going to turn out. So Thank you guys for watching and talk to y'all next time.